So I'm continuing to uh, try to talk reason uh, to my parents about uh, uh, conservatives and their turn towards Trumpism, which is ostensibly American fascism, and how, as lifelong conservatives, they don't really understand that nuance. They don't really understand uh, how far right the Republicans have gone from the days of when they started as, as uh, uh, you know, old fashioned conservatives. Um, they're not really processing it and, and, and understand they can't process it because of right wing propaganda like Fox News or Newsmax or what name the propaganda source is popular. Uh, it's it's, you know, conservatives are inundated with propaganda uh, from the far right on a daily basis and, and fighting it, talking reason against it. it it's almost futile. Because once again, they're inundated. It's a constant baptism of far right propaganda, twenty four seven, three sixty five. It it is it is constant. Uh, it's unstoppable. Um, so any any my little my little arrows uh, of reason and of facts and of uh, just 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 being reasonable with politics, you know, it's, it's almost futile, but I'm starting to have a little bit of a breakthrough. If I just talk more directly with them and how I almost even kind of mock them in a way, like you're not even going to believe it. If I tell you, like when I start talking like that to my mom, she knows something's up. Like when I just start even just openly saying, even if I told you the truth, you wouldn't even believe me at this point. She kind of perked up. And it broke through. I saw it. I saw it break through. And it broke through when I sent her some information about how Trump is back out on the campaign trail, uh, literally echoing Hitler and Mussolini uh, when it comes to talking about uh, 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 the vermin in this country, uh, uh, immigrants poisoning the blood of America, and, and the juxtaposition between Trump and Mussolini and Hitler, uh, uh, you know, it, it actually is kind of setting in like, okay, that's new, uh, that's different, that that's not what conservatives usually say. Uh, I mean, they'll try to uh, <laughs> warm up to that. Uh, they will try to repackage that, but they won't come out right and say, poisoning the blood of a nation, how Hitler said that about the Jews in, in talking about Mexican people that way. Like, it, it's like, it, it, even for Trump, it's a whole new low bar because what is Trump but a continuous low bar? Uh, towards unbridled fascism. That's what Trump is. That's what Trumpism is. And once again, my parents don't understand that. They think it's all still straight line conservatism. So they're, I'm really starting to, to, to open them up to this, but my dad is a whole nother situation. I can get my mom on a few things, uh, but my dad is probably one of the worst. He said one of the worst things yesterday. And he said, we're, we're talking about RSV. Okay. RSV, uh, is a respiratory illness going on right now. And, um, he said the, the, the uptick of RSV is because immigrants are bringing it into the country. You see how far right wing media has has our friends and family completely brainwashed. And I immediately pushed back immediately and said that's insane. But he doesn't know that's insane because he has people on his television telling him this literally all day, every day craziest things, the dumbest things, the most insane things are being validated by people he respects on television. And he said it with the utmost confidence and I pushed back instantly and said, that's it, insane. 
That is absurd. And I shot him down. He got quiet because he doesn't get the pushback. They live in a bubble. They live in a bubble of far right wing propaganda. And it's rotted their brains. I mean, the aging process is enough to rot one's brain. Uh, but when you add far right wing propaganda on top of it, it, it's just it's just accelerating the mushing factor. Uh, Cause I just hear the dumbest things from, from my inner circle who are conservatives and Trump supporters. It can only come from far right wing propaganda. And it's just, it's unforgivable. It really feels unforgivable what these people have done, what they're doing, uh, what they've done to my family, what they've uh, uh, managed to accomplish with their lies. It, 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 it genuinely feels in, in my heart of hearts as unforgivable. Like you have to truly be evil to push these lies out there, to brainwash people into believing these insane things simply because of politics, simply because you're being paid to. It's like one of the lowest forms of humanity possible to willingly lie to people who don't know better, who are undereducated, simple-minded, simple folk, simple people, and make them believe the most erroneous things imaginable, like immigrants are responsible for a local outbreak of RSV. And, and that ties into the whole Trump thing. Those, those are connected. When Trump says these vermin are, 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 are poisoning the blood of America, that all ties into stuff like that. Demonization of immigrants, it all ties in. So whether it's medically, whether it's socially, no, no matter the context, what Trump says and what the far-right propagandists uh, feed out to them completely contaminates them. And it's like, I feel like I've lost them. Like I, I feel like I've lost them and I can't save them. And I'm trying to save them. You know, throwing my darts of reason and hoping one sticks. But it's becoming clearer and clearer to me. We're living in post-truth. This is a post-truth Post fact era, uh, mainly because of Trump, mainly because of far right wing propaganda, and in fighting it seems futile. Like like, I feel like I've lost my family. Um, maybe it's temporary. I don't know. Uh, maybe in time they can be rerouted back to me. But ever since Trump, especially Trump, I've lost my family. Like I I, I don't have them. Uh, in my good graces much anymore. Um, and I, I just have to find ways to move on. I have to find ways to move forward without them because the propaganda has them, okay? The propaganda has taken them away from me. The hatred, the vitriol, uh, you know, it has them. And then whenever I come at them and say, no, that's crazy. No, that's hateful. No, that's bigoted. They have to think about it even. Like they're so brainwashed, they have to think about that. When it's obviously bigoted, when it's obviously hateful, when you should know that like that, you shouldn't really have to think about that. But that's not what we're living in. That's not what I'm experiencing at all. They are completely like, it's like body snatchers. Like, I, I don't know who abducted these people, but they're, they've they been abdu abducted from me uh, and from reality. And it's sad. And this is my life. And every day is picking up the pieces, just trying to put them back together, just trying to hold them together with what whatever I can. Amen.
it feels ho hopeless a lot of the time. Anyways, I'm rambling. It's a beautiful day. I'm about to go for a walk. Get outside. Feel the sun on your skin. Look at the beautiful fall foliage. There's still beautiful things in this world. I'm not going to let this get me down. I just need to vent a little. I need to rant a little. Thank you for listening. I'm not trying to bum you out. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get through this, you know, as best I know how. And it's uh sometimes just to talk and rant about it makes me feel better and I'm glad you've uh, watched the video. Like, share and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down, down below. Let me know how you're doing.